Hi everyone, so this is the navigation video for um, the O261 health insurance course. If you have had me in previous courses, this video will be similar to previous navigation videos. However, there are some key differences that you'll want to pay attention to. Uh, so starting on the home page, which is the top tab over here on the left hand side of the page, the navigation panel you will find that most oftentimes the home page will stay the same. There aren't a whole lot of changes that occur here um, with the home page, just kind of um, basic info, kind of uh, starting point, if you will. Sometimes the pictures will change, but that's pretty much it. One thing that is different um, this year than in previous years is that I have added recent announcements. I think I put three maybe um, of, the, of the last three announcements that will appear up at the top of the homepage. So when you click on these, you can read the most um, recent three announcements um, from the homepage without having to go to the announcements tabs. However, if you want to, you can either click view announcement here or you can just navigate to the announcement section from the announcements tab over here in the navigation panel. So from the announcements tab, again, you'll be able to see all of the announcements that I post for the course throughout the course and you'll want to especially pay attention to those announcements throughout this OT61 course because I typically will put um, helpful videos for you in those announcements that will help you work through the more difficult homework questions each week. So um, definitely make sure that you are checking your announcements pretty regularly. The modules tab is the next tab down and that um, is one that you will use pretty frequently as is with other courses if you've taken those with me you will find that this course is designed um, to work on a module system so you will basically work through all of the um, items or tasks in a particular module for each week that it's assigned. So starting with this week, week one, you're going to work through this course orientation module where you will click on all of the links beginning at the top. Here you'll download the syllabus and then the schedule. Um, if you go back, this McGraw-Hill campus um, is going to be an important link. Now you'll get this warning that says you're trying to launch insecure content from within a secure site canvas. Uh, some web browsers may prevent this content from loading, but you will want to click load McGraw Hill campus in a new window and there will be specific printed directions. I will show you where those are in just a moment that tell you how to make this happen. This is a very, very important step in this course orientation module. So you'll want to make sure that you have those directions available and handy so that you can reference them when you are registering for your connect course. I will click on this just to have it open so I can kind of show you. what's going to happen. So when you go to register your course um, with McGraw Hill, and I'll do a separate video on this, it will kind of pop up and look like this. Okay, so let me go back over here um, and back to our orientation module. Then we have a question and answer forum. You're welcome to post questions there. That discussion board is open throughout the semester. It is basically a general question and answers. Um, I do monitor it, so you are welcome to post things there, and um, I'll answer you there if you don't feel like emailing, or perhaps other students can answer as well. Okay, so then you will go on and start your um, assignments for each week. <clears throat> week one, you have introductions and a syllabus quiz to complete. Week two, you have a lecture, and this is how it kind of goes for each of the weeks subsequent to week one. So you'll have a lecture. There's a key points YouTube video um, where it's basically a video lecture of, of um, the key points of the chapter so that I've put together for you. And then you will also have um, your assignment. So the assignment will open and if you have integrated your and registered for your connect right, so make sure you watch that video as well. Um, if you have integrated and registered, when you open this, it will pop up 
and this will tell you now that the assignment is locked uh, until August 21st and I'm recording this video um, about a month ahead of time so it's going to look uh, like it's locked but I'm going to leave the student view in just a second and show you what it will look like. Um, but this will pop up and open that McGraw-Hill Connect for you so that you don't have to go to a separate website. Basically you just do your assignments within Canvas but they're being done on McGraw-Hill's website which is kind of cool. Saves you some extra steps. Okay, so those are your modules. Each of the things that um, have, you can see the due dates there, so that's nice. Um, and typically I put things in order in the modules and the way that you should complete them. So you should download the lectures, then you have your notes, and then watch the key points video, complete the assignment. For this week, week seven, then you will go on and complete these other assignments in this order. All right, so back up to the top, McGraw-Hill Connect. Um, this is your landing page to help you get started with your uh, Connect program, which you are required to have for class. So we'll talk about that in another video, in the Connect video. Your grades. Grades will show you a couple of things. Um, first of all, it shows you, you can do things here that are kind of cool. You can arrange them by due date, you can arrange them by assignment group, you can arrange them by module. Um, some people like them by module. Some people like them by due date so that you have a pretty solid list of how things are going to be due. Okay. Either way, however you want to do that, that's all, all up to you. It's kind of your preference. But then as you have things submitted and graded, your grades will populate here. But this tells you the points that are possible for each assignment. And then over here, if you look to the far right, it tells you that your uh, grades are weighted. And this tells you the weight distribution for those grades. So exams and quizzes are worth 30% of your overall final grade. Uh, and there are three exams for this course. Your connect assignments are going to be worth 45% and then your discussions are going to be worth 25%. This imported assignments won't be there by the time you guys get into this course. I'll take that out in just a few minutes. Uh, so if you decide, you know what, I'm cool with doing the homework and I'm cool with taking the tests, but discussion boards suck, so I'm not doing those, then you can bet that you will have no higher than a 75% in class because those are worth 25% of your overall grade. Now, as you will see, we do not have discussions every single week. I usually do them every other week because this is a pretty labor intensive class with the Connect assignments. So um, I try to limit them somewhat. So there's that. And then you'll have a running total down here that kind of tells you, um, you know, what your overall grade is and that will show up here as well. You have the option to print it if you ever need to print off your grades like for um, financial aid or for work study or for anything like that then you can do that here as well. The syllabus uh, kind of looks like the grade page except for it doesn't have the grades on it. It just has all the due dates and what is due for each of those weeks. Now everything will be due on Sundays by 11.59 p.m. of that week. Assignments open on the Monday of the week. They are due the following Sunday by 11.59 p.m. That's how it always works. The only exception to that is the final exam, in which case it will be due on a Friday um, by 11.59 p.m. instead of Sunday. So pretty easy. Okay, so let me get out of the student view. One moment. And let me see if I can go in and show you what your assignments will look like. So if I open up chapter one assignment, if I click on this, if you are registered correctly, it will automatically take you to connect and it will go to the course that you're supposed to be in. Um, you can kind of see up here, connect, integrated with Canvas. This is my course, OT61 Health Insurance. You're in the right section, fall 2017. Now you may see in different spots that say OT161. At one time this course was named 161 and then they changed it back to 61 and then it went to 161 and back to 61. So 
just know right now that 61 and 161, same thing. So you're not in the wrong chorus, it's the exact same thing. Um, so when you get into your assignment then, you can, um, let me see if I can do this. You will have unlimited attempts to do your assignments. And, oh, it's not available to you yet, so I can't see. Um, but basically, your assignments then will be a multiple choice and some fill in the blank and some matching, some worksheets, um, things like that. So this is kind of what your assignments will look like. Once you're done with those, the grades will populate both in Canvas and then also um, directly into, or excuse me, in Connect, and then they should filter over into Canvas as well. Now, say you're done working on your assignment and you need to go back into Canvas to do something. You do not need to close this out. All you have to do is go over here to this yellow button, click Return to Canvas, and you are good to go. And then you should be back in Canvas. So, um, but like I said, there'll be a, a, an extra video for registering and assignments and all of that stuff. So make sure you watch that one too. So I think that's it for um, your navigation. If you have any questions, please let me know or drop them into the announcements or Q&A board. And I will do my best to get those answered for you. Thanks, guys.